Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. This is from March the 4th to the 10th. Now this is a massive week because not only we're we going through two phases of the moon but we're also entering Mercury retrograde. Now as I said last week this is a planet that rules technology, communication and travel. Now you would have already experienced the shadow period which we have two weeks prior and we have two weeks post. So you may have noticed something that you may have missed. I used to look at Mercury retrograde as a real negative thing. And in hindsight now, I now see this as beautiful, a beautiful message. Maybe you have been working so fast that you missed some details. And this is an opportunity for you to fix the mistakes in which you have created and then then basically carry on forward. So there's lots going on this week. We're starting out in the balsamic mood. Now this was continuing from last week. So Monday to Wednesday, we are reflecting with gratitude and taking time to rest, however that looks like for you. And then on Thursday, this is when we actually have the new moon in Pisces. So let me show you on the screen right now what time this is for you, no matter where you are in the world. So on Wednesday, the 6th of March, if you're in LA, this is 8.03 a.m., New York, 11.03 a.m., London, 4.03 p.m., New Delhi, 9.33 p.m. And on Thursday, March the 7th, if you're in Denpasar, this is 12.03 a.m., Brisbane, 2.03 a.m., and Auckland, 5.03 a.m. So that's the time when we're gonna be having this new moon. Now it is in Pisces, so Pisces is a very emotional, it's also a very spiritual and intuitive sign. It's also the 12th sign of the zodiac. So this is the end, which is interesting because we're beginning very, very shortly the new moon in Aries, which is my sun sign, which I'm super duper excited, um, which is the fire energy. So we're going from the very watery energy and preparing for the fire. So this is an amazing time to you know, finish off things that you have said that you're always going to do, but maybe you haven't done them just yet. This is a time to be very intuitive. And it's also amazing that the Mercury retrograde is also occurring in Pisces. So you may be getting a lot of cosmic downloads. This can be a very spiritual time for you. So I'm interested to see what this week means for you. Also, if you're new to the fam, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Monday, helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload. Um, because as you would have known from last week, my video was 24 hours late. And I remember maybe it was last Mercury retrograde or the one before, my YouTube video scheduled earlier. So it is Mercury retrograde. Make sure you have those notifications turned on. Basically what I'm saying is I don't want you to miss out on all the delicious goodness that is headed your way. So we're gonna be using the Shadowscapes Tarot and let's just see what comes up for you. So let me read for Monday and let's just see collectively what we need to know no matter where you are in the world what do you need to know for the energies for Monday I'm just gonna have one card for my beautiful MK love fam there it is Ooh, okay the ten of swords interesting pain in my chest came up as soon as um, I felt the card, but the first song which always comes up with this one is This is the end, hold your breath and count to ten Feel the earth moving, let the sky fall It's like whatever, whatever isn't serving you during this time and you're like, actually, I thought I wanted this um, and then I hear, <laughs> I've been hearing this song a lot from the Pussycat Dolls, be careful what you wish for cause you might just get it. And it's so interesting because as you guys know, I'm in Bali now and it's not what I expected. And it was interesting because I actually had a tea leaf reading done in May last year. And she said around this time that it, it looks good from the outside, but not on the inside. And yeah, anyways, if you haven't already watched my IGTV 
episode when I was answering all your FAQs around Bali, make sure you watch that after this video. Anyways, so this is all about letting go what no longer serves you. And I feel like you're reflecting to be like, okay, this is what happened and it doesn't actually, it didn't feel right or, yeah, it just didn't feel right. Remember, this is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels best for you. All right, let's see what you need to know collectively for Tuesday for the balsamic. Reflecting with gratitude and taking time to rest. Oh, okay, the Four of Pentacles. Now we've actually had this, I would say in the last month. So this is interesting that this is coming up. Oh, actually maybe this was for a client. I'm not too sure. The Four of Pentacles to me is all about hoarding, um, keeping what you've, it's like protecting, but protecting to your own detriment. This is like, I don't know if I'd be able to get it again kind of thing. It's like you need to surrender to the process and it will set yourself free. So think of it in terms of like if somebody gifted you a million dollars, like what would you do? You know, would you be like, I can't spend it because I'm never going to make this money again? Or are you going to invest it or are you going to spend it with things that truly spark joy for you to help those people that have truly helped you along the way as you've been struggling to get to wherever you need to? This is a reminder that is what is rightfully yours will always stay, but also that you need to be a vibrational match again to which, but then we're reflecting. Maybe you, maybe you, you had this idea of what you wanted in your head and you got aspects of it, but not the full thing. It's like your angels that this could also be a reminder that if you've had it once before, you can get it again. And it's like, um, don't look back. Don't you ever do that. Don't look back. It's like knowing that what's happened, it's just like life just gets better and better and better and better. Like the saying, the best is yet to come is actually true. You know, it's, it's, I feel like this is just a reminder to be like, if you want this penthouse apartment, if you want to eat organic, ripe farm, fresh fruits and vegetables, you know, you need to be a vibrational match so that you have the financial means to attract that into your, into your life. And finances is literally just a vibrational frequency. And I definitely noticed a shift when I went from charging a hundred dollars to $200 for priority readings to what I charge with my dream clients. I had to be a vibrational match. And when I got that, the dream clients just came. And it's just a reminder to be like, what is, you can, Think of it as like the sky is the limit. You know, if you think it's crazy, good, because it's scaring you. Just take those little baby stepping stones so you can become a vibrational match along the way. And as you keep building, 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 you'll look back in a year from now, you'll be like, holy heck, do you believe where I'm at? So stop freaking out. That's what I'm trying to say for Tuesday. Anyway, let's see what we need to know for Wednesday. Oh, there it is. Ooh, okay, the two of swords. This is like the stalemate. This is like the stubborn. This is like... Ugh, it's like not a good card. And there's the pain in the heart chakra again. I feel like this is just a reminder to be like, okay, I feel like these three cards here aren't very positive, but I feel like you may have been going through a very rough time. Well, I feel like astrologically, if you look at as above, so below, we're all experiencing that same kind of like uncertainty or be like frustration because um, we're in such watery energy and me as a fire zone, well, my sun sign, it's, those times can be very difficult to navigate, but your angels are saying, but you have to, and then I hear this is me. I'm not a stranger to the dark, fly away, they say. So we've got two swords and one pentacle. I feel like the contrast is actually an amazing thing. The contrast shows you what you don't want, so you can actually course correct and then line everything up and then go in the direction that feels right for you. I don't feel like this is, I never see the negativity as a bad thing. I see it as an opportunity to grow, to learn and to heal and to evolve. So whatever you've been going through this week, just allow it to be and surrender to that process. If you need to do a forgiveness meditation for yourself or somebody else, 
you need to do that. You need to make that a priority. It's like just clearing out all the baggage because it's like, if you keep reading the same chapter and be like, I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. I'm never going to find my husband. You know, I'm never going to be able to lose the weight. I'm never going to be blah, 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 travel the world. If you keep saying that you're programming your mind for all that shit. If you change the vibrational frequency, which I actually teach you how to reprogram your subconscious in my, um, in my coaching program, I teach you how you can reprogram those beliefs so that you can program them with higher vibrational thoughts. So if you need help, please check out my free exclusive training. I'm actually looking right now for my next four dream clients. So if you haven't already checked out that training, please do so. I've opened up spaces for next week. I know a lot of you were trying to get in. You'd be like, Mel, I can't get in. I've opened up extra dates for my calendar. So don't miss about, especially if you could do it before Thursday, because then Mercury goes retrograde. Okay, this is for Thursday. Oh, okay, so now we have the nine of wands. This is like you're on a mission. You're on a mission for success and you're very much like uh, leading, but then but you're perched higher than everyone else. But you're actually not moving just yet. It's like you move. Okay, I feel like you're faced in the direction of where you need to go. I feel like as soon as I don't know, why is that lion just like sitting there, or is he about to pounce to keep going? What does that mean with the new moon in Pisces? I feel okay. So I feel like you're heading in the direction of where you need to. I feel like you're getting frustrated and you're not moving as fast as you want to, but everything is working out for you. You are exactly where you need to be. Let's get clarity on the nine of wands. That one felt funny to me. Clarity on the nine of wands angel, please for this is the new moon in Pisces, which is actually, um, neppy day. I feel I think it's called that in Bali, which is like the Hindu New Year, which is the time where um, in Bali they shut off all electricity, all internet, obviously. Um, and because water, you need electricity to power water, there'll be no water. Well, this is what I'm told anyway. Um, and you need to prepare your meals the night before. It's a silent day, it's a time to meditate. I know there may be some of you that may be Hindu, so if you could explain it better in the comments, that'd be great. I know I do have a few Indonesians who booked in for a strategy session. So all my cards just fell. So let me just get back on track. There we go. Clarity for the nine of wands. Ooh, okay. So now we have the six of swords. Okay. So this is like being carried away from the contrast. How the flip does that fit in with the nine of wands? This is like not allowing the, the darkness to sway you. We've had this quite a lot recently. So the nine of wands is like you're moving in the direction where you need to go towards your passion projects. The six of wands is like you're not allowing the contrast at all. So like other people getting in your head. I would like more actually. I feel like it's a quite a big day. Holy shit, we've got the king of cups. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure we had the king of cups last week too. It's so interesting how these energies are coming up. Okay, so you've gotten to a new level of emotional freedom and as you have like leveled up in your success, as you have leveled up in your work, in your business, whatever it looks like for you, because we had that new, what was it? The full moon in Virgo and Virgo rules your career. So this is one of what this looks like for you. Cups, it's like you've got, you've finished, you've gotten to the end of something. You've completed something emotionally in regards to your work. All right, let's see what we need to know for Friday. Wow, Pisces, okay, ah, oh my God. Okay, there was two cards that fell to the side and then there was a whole heap of other cards, but one of them that was, it's the King of Pentacles again. Oh my goodness, this is, we had two Kings last week too. Let me just check my computer and let's just see. What did we have? We had the King of Cups last week. Oh, and we had the King of Swords. Okay, so you're really getting to the end of the situations. There was a lot of cards that fell under the King of Cups. I feel like I need to pull them. 
Oh, okay, right. So you have the Four of Cups. So this was like when you were like doubting the self doubt, then you got like the Devil card, which is basically the fear. So there's doubt, there's fear, and then there's balance, and then there's fortune. So all of those things have come into play. You have released the doubt, you have released the fear, you have re you have found your balance, and and because of that, you have found the momentum again, and the wheels, big wheels keep on turning. It's all of that together is how you got to the King of Pentacles. You had to go through a lot in order to get it. I feel like I, do, I need to pull the other two cards that came up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you have the Ace of Wands, and then we also got the Four of Wands, which is a celebration. So this is a massive celebration, and this is the beginning. So you ended something emotionally, you have released something emotionally, or you're starting fresh emotionally, and now you're rebuilding. You've gotten to this level of success. You have gotten to this level of success, which has then changed how you feel emotionally, and you're celebrating where you are. You're like, I am where I am, and it's okay. I am incredible. Everything that I have been through, as painful and as awful as it has been, has prepared me for where I'm at now. Whoa, where are we up to? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So Saturday, there's a lot of cards this week. I just, pain in the chest though. Huh. So Saturday, Saturday. And every time I say Saturday, I think because I lived in London for two years, um, when I used to teach my kids, we had, I had to pronounce Saturday as if it's phonetically written written and if I was saying Saturday or Saturday I don't even know how I used to say it they could never spell it so I had to go Saturday and then they would get it so it's kind of stuck with me and every time I say Saturday it reminds me of that anyways moving right along on Saturday we have the two of one so this is like surveying the land this is like this infinite trust in yourself and determination and that you know that you're going to get to exactly where you want to. But this is also like the beginning jitters of like starting something new and you'll be like, ah, oh, this is scary, but I know this is exactly where I need to need to be. But this is also being protected. You have the lion who can help you and can also accelerate where you need to go because consider the lion is in like transport. He can help take you to where you need to be. Um, I would like clarity on Saturday. Oh no, it fell off the floor and I'm connected to the death. Oh no, I can still grab it, hold on. Ooh, okay, so the nine of wands. So you have been through a lot and to get to where you are, you'll be like, I am where I am and it's okay. Like some people may look at you and be like, oh, money, or they may look at you and be like, turn their nose up at you. But think of it like, you didn't get to where you were because you had this magical wish and it just instantly manifested. You put your, I think of that scene from Matilda, I put my blood, sweat and tears into this chocolate cake and you're gonna eat it. You know, I don't know if you remember that scene, maybe some of you are a little bit too young for that, but Matilda is the classic. Um, where the trench ball's trying to get whoever's to eat it, the kid, I can't remember his name. But it's like you have been through a lot, you know. Some people just see like, oh, she's this level of success. It's like if you knew what went on behind the scenes, because think of Instagram or social media as like the highlight reel. You don't see the tears. You don't see the tantrums. You don't see when things are going wrong and you're just like, I have to stay me to the airport, you know. You don't see all of that behind it. And this is, this is an amazing new chapter in which you are embarking on. And it's come because you have done the work. Please keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Also, side note, somebody asked me, do I still do private readings? Um, I do do private readings, but they're only for my, my dream clients. So that just came up. I thought, oh gosh, what's happening with these cards? Okay, think of it like, you know when you see like 52 pick up, like you go like this and psh, all the cards go out? A lot of cards are on my desk right now, but there's one card that is literally standing up around all of these cards. I'm just gonna pull it. So this is for Sunday. Ooh, okay, so the Three of Pentacles. So this is like partnerships. This is, um, you raise me up, 
so I can stand on mountains. It's like your support system helped to get to where, get you to where you are. You know, your support system is the five people that you spend the most time with. They don't have to be in the physical realm. This could literally be people that you watch on YouTube. This could be the music that you listen to that helps you, gives you that support, that raises you up, raises your vibration, makes you feel amazing. However this looks like for you, your support system is either well, it could be it could be taken so many ways but maybe you are finding a new support system or maybe your support system is like rock solid you know your support system could literally just be one other person um it just depends the support system changes depending on which journey you're at you know your mentors can change depending on what you want to heal what you want to achieve we've been speaking so much in 2019 about coaches and mentors and teachers that can accelerate your progress so whatever you're struggling with and whatever whatever area this mercury retrograde is showing you that you actually need to work on you know because it's like you never have it all you know tied up in a bow and all perfect there is always something to improve on every single day so whatever area the universe is reflecting an area in which you can um, work on then if you need help you need to seek out someone who can help you this could literally be an online course this could be a youtube tutorial it could be your new pilates instructor this could be a yoga retreat a meditation learning reiki so many of you are reiki masters by the way um whatever it may be you need to we have so many cards on this desk oh my god it's just saying if you need help ask for it all right let's just see what this whole week is all about let's ask the focus focus for the week how does this all fit in with everything we have spoken about focus for the week One card, thank you very much, angels. Oh, okay, so the 10 of wands. So this is like not carrying too much on your back. This is like you're wanting to nourish everything, but it's like, um, oh, massive pain. It was like an instant headache. What is giving you, what is that on my left side? So this is third eye. This is your intuition. What do you intuitively feel like is a headache for you? Oh my God, it's going across my whole face on the left side. Because um, this is like taking on too much. So it's like simple. How can you simplify your life for success? How, what, what do you need to do to simplify what you're doing? It's like you're overextending yourself. You're trying to do this, 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 and this. And if you're doing more than one thing, you're going to be doing a half-assed job. So it's like, what area do you need to focus on? I just feel this is staying low, laser focus because if you're going to continue the way you're going, you're going, you're either burnt out now, ah, you're either burnt out now or it's going to get worse. And when burnout comes, the universe can manifest illness and disease within your body. Look up Louise L. Hayes A to Z metaphysical guide. It's in the back of her book. You can heal your life or it's online. Um, healing alchemy. No, no, that's my course. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Alchemy of healing? I don't know. Have a look. Just type in A to Z Louise L. Hayes Metaphysics Guide um, because this is like you're taking on way too much and you need to simplify your life, however that looks. So let's just quickly sum up. So in the balsamic moment, this is all, all about releasing what is not serving you and reflecting on where you are and saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, angels, for showing me what I have missed. Then as we continue in this new chapter for this new moon in Pisces, which is a very spiritual, very transformational. The Pisces is the 12th sign of the zodiac. This is the watery energy. This is finishing off the completion. Think of it as like New Year's, you know, because technically in the Hindu calendar, we're about to begin the new year. I actually think it begins in the new moon in Aries, which is next month. But hey, take from this what feels best for you. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a massive celebration. This is also finding the support, putting the structures in place. You've gotten to a new level emotionally, financially. Um, you're on the right track. You just have to keep going. Oh God, this is hurting. 
Um, and it's like, don't look back. You know, you have been to where you have, and if you feel like you have failed, it's nothing is a failure. Failure is first attempt in learning, you know? Um, oh, that was amazing. I, I remember that, you know, nothing is a failure. It's just an opportunity to grow and to heal and to evolve. So finding the support, this is a celebration. It's either you're on the journey to get to where you need to, or you're already in that, or you're just beginning. Oh, I have to go. This is hurting too much, this reading. And this is probably the most intense pain that I have felt. Maybe this is a spiritual awakening, but normally that would be here. But today it's just like, it's like at my temple. Anyways, my love, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. If you join me on the live chat, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know, what are you most looking forward to um, during this time? Because this is a massive shift in which we're going to. Um, yeah. And if you have watched the replay, thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to go back and to catch up because you're just amazing. Like I appreciate every single one of you. Every time I see a comment, I literally say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and as you know, I'm replying to the live chats. If you've missed the live chat, I always reply to the first half now in which the video is live. I'm literally with you in the live chat. It's pitch black during this time when I'm in Bali because um, the sun doesn't really rise until 6.30 a.m. and this will be my 5 a.m. which is fine because it helps kickstart my morning so thank you and yeah a lot going on I have no idea what the theme song is for this week I need to look at the metaphysics for what this pain is here but anyways my love I just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching um, and make sure you go over to my Instagram right now and check out my IGTV episode because um, that's already live for you right now and I hope you enjoy anyways if you have any questions let me know let me know down below and I will see you next Monday I love you I love you I love you goodbye <laughs>